So here we have a graphing calculator question where I'm given a table. Now I'm supposed to be integrating from zero to three. And I have this very weird expression here, which is rare to come by. Whenever you see this weird expression, it's basically because you probably have a U term here and there is the derivative of the U term somewhere in there as well. So here U is equal to two GX plus one. And therefore, if you differentiate both sides, du is equal to 2g prime x dx. Now, I already have my g prime x dx here. So I'm going to say my g prime x dx is equal to du over 2. So now I'm going to say I have integration from 0 to 3. Instead of g prime x dx, I'll be putting du over 2. And I'm going to have cosine squared. And instead of the 2gx plus 1, I'll just put u. But now, given that I have changed my limits of integration into u, I must also, I mean, I changed my expression to u, I must also change my limits of integration. So the 0 is no longer there, and 3 is no longer there. Now it's going to be a and b. Right now, I have the task of finding those a and b. So let's work with... Um, the expression u is equal to 2gx plus 1. When x is 0, which is this one, then I have 2g0 plus 1. And when x is 0, g is 5. So 2 times 5 plus 1, which is 11. So instead of x of 0, I'll be putting 11 here. How about when x is equal to 3? which is the upper limit of integration. Now I'm going to say 2 g of 3 plus 1. So 2 times. 1x is 3, g is equal to negative 2. And the whole thing is equal to negative 3. Replace the b with negative 3. Now, just for clarity, this d over half has to be half on the outside, and d remains inside. This will make it easier for me when I apply it in Desmos now. So now you have to go to Desmos, and here you have to uh, type 1 divided by 2. And now you want to do um, integration. So you're going to have to go to uh, functions. You have to scroll all the way to integration from 11 to negative 3. Now you're going to have to put the functions cosine you must square it don't forget that and then you're going to put x close the bracket dx so you're going to have to go to abc you have to type in d and you have to type in x now we have our value which is negative 3.463 so that would be choice B.